Okay, what up y'all? We're back with a brand new workflow. This one is a data set generation workflow. Uh, it's pretty simple. You can just upload a face and it's gonna generate you know, 20 angles of the same face and you can then use this to train a LoRa on. Um, it works with a lot of different images. Uh, we're going to try this, but yeah, I'll just go over the workflow while it loads. So the prompt list for the data set, this is where uh, all the prompts are um, preset basically for you. You can change those prompts if you want. Um, just make sure that if you want to add a new one, just press enter and then you write it there. Um, this can be used for full body images and stuff like that. You don't need to have only, you know, uh, face shots. Um, here, um, we use the Quen Image Edit 2509. That's the latest version of Quen Image Edit. Um, the LoRa here is a four step LoRa to make it faster. It does make it faster, but it's also going to make the quality go down quite a lot. So, if you want the highest possible quality, you're going to want to make sure that you bypass this. So, Control B on the node. And then here you want to add uh, 20 steps or 25 steps. And for the CFG, you want to go three or four and you should be good to go after that. Um, here that's already preset, so you don't need to touch it. If you change the CFG to anything more than one, you, you might want to add, you know, negative prompts here. Um, but if the CFG is one, a uh, negative prompt is not taken into account. And that's not actually true. That's the negative, negative. Um, okay. And yeah, that's it. So here we, the last part is basically where you're going to save your images. So that's going to be, um, the path where you want to save your image. And that's going to be the name of your character. Um, the workflow is also going to generate a text file where the only content of that text file is going to be your, uh, the name of your character. And from there, you can use that to train your LoRa and it should work absolutely fine. Um, I released I released that on Reddit. A lot of people were saying that, um, you know, if you use only the same type of image, um, it's going to overtrain. Uh, while this was true back then, I think that right now, even if you use the same type of image multiple times, um, you're still going to be able to get, you know, um, different results. So if I train it on this, basically, I'm not going to get a wide background every single time and I'm not going to get the same uh, air style every single time. Um, the only thing that might be a problem is the color. But like I said, you should not be using a color uh, when you use this. So yeah, that's basically it um, here um, just to prove that it works with something else than, you know, uh, a, a fake, a fake girl. Uh, we have the Teletubby thing. And that shit is kind of scary. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Damn. But yeah, like I said, it works. It was fine. Um, and yeah, that's basically the workflow. I'm not gonna yap, yap, yap for forever, but that's it. So if you have any questions, you can join the Discord. This workflow is gonna be available on the Patreon for uh, everybody. Um, but if you wanna have access to my newer workflows um, in exclusivity for a certain period of time, you can uh, summon the Patreon and you'll have access. So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.